Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear students. Today, our topic is which soil let the most water through? So, what is our learning objective and success criteria? At the end of the class, you should recognize and know the meaning of fair test. Two, identify that different types of soil have different sizes of grains. So let us start with the meaning of fair test. A fair test is an investigation where one variable is changed, but all other conditions are kept the same. What do we mean by the word variable? A variable is any one of the elements of the test which could be changed. To understand more, let us do this investigation of which type of soil let the most water through. We can see in our book, we have Raj, Lily and Tom. Okay, let us start. Raj said, we are using the same amount of each type of the soil. The soil used should be dry. So here we have the first variable and that is soil. Lily said we are also adding the same amount of water to each type of soil. We have another variable here and that is water. Tom said this is so that the test is fair. So how was it fair? It was fair because they are using the same amount of each type of soil. So putting the same amount, this is fair. We didn't put more of clay or more of loamy or more of sandy. They were all the same amount. Why did we put the same amount of each type of soil? To make this test fair. We can see Lily, she said also, she was adding the same amount of water to each type of soil. So for example, if we're saying that she is adding one, okay, let us say half cup of water to each type of soil. This is to make the test fair. She didn't put one uh, glass in clay, half glass in loamy, or quarter glass of water into sandy soil. They were all having the same amount of water. So putting the same amount of each type of soil and putting the same amount of water to each type of soil, this is to make the test fair fair so they add the same amount of water to each type of soil so again the soil is a variable and when we say the same amount of soil it means that to keep the test fair to the second variable was the same amount of water we have another variable in this test and that is the time after five minutes. So after five minutes, they went to check the soil. So when we say five minutes, it's five minutes for clay, five minutes for loamy, and five minutes for sandy. So we didn't let the water in clay for five minutes and then loamy for 10 minutes and sandy for seven minutes, for example. Okay, why did we use the same duration, the same time, five minutes for all these types of soil is to make the test fail. So again, now we have three variables here that are the same, one, same amount of each type of soil, two, same amount of water, three, the time after five minutes. So what did they find when they come back? 
after five minutes clay soil lets the least water through why because the particles or the grains of the clay soil are the smallest and they are packed tightly together so they do not allow the water to pass through it easily sandy soil lets the most water through because the grains are small but there is a lot of space between its grain its grains so it's easy for the water to pass through but for the loamy soil the water wasn't too much or too little so from this investigation we found that different types of soil allow different amounts of water to pass through it and the sandy soil lets the most water pass through it because there is a lot of space between its grains now the question how was this investigation fair? As we remember, we said that a fair test, in a fair test, all the variables kept the same except one variable is changed. Now, if we go and think which variables were kept the same, we have number one, same amount of each type of soil two the same amount of water three the time so these three things were kept the same these variables were kept the same so what is the variable that was changed in this investigation to make it a fair test is the different types of soil clayey, loamy, and sandy. Hope you understand. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.